Hello everyone, uh, the Manga Stand here, and so the, today we're going to be talking about Manga Chapter 678 of Bleach. So I really was happy about this chapter, it wasn't my favorite chapter just because we thought we were going to get a grand reveal, and then Yuach just changes everything and we get revealed that he has different powers than he once said he did. Uh, which makes more sense because I kind of complained about it, saying that his powers didn't really make sense to what his abilities actually were. But now they make a tiny bit more sense, so he's able to actually transform the future. So I think maybe he, like, if he chose doing his Bonkai, maybe in the past he's like, okay, in the future it's going to be destroyed, and he changes the future. But then it begs the question, why can't he change the future to be like, in the future Ichigo's going to die? Like, in five minutes Ichigo's going to die, like, change the future in that type of scenario. So maybe he can, maybe he can't. But if he can do that, he's just OP as all hell. I don't even know how Ichigo is going to win at this point now, since now it's like beyond what his powers were before. He can actually transform the future. So basically, he can just be like, in the future, everybody's dead. Like, could he not do that? Could he, like, what's the extent of these abilities? I don't know if, if he can do that at this point, because he hasn't shown to do that. But he probably can. Who knows? But disappointment in this chapter is basically that he um, transforms the future to make it so Ichigo's Bankai is broken. And so that sucks, we don't get a grand reveal yet, but maybe next chapter or, or beyond, maybe Ichigo has another evolution he hasn't shown. Probably, knowing Ichigo, he probably has, like, this is probably just his, like, first form. Um, or second form out of out of a hundred or something. But, um, a very short chapter, not, not a lot to show, really, so I don't have a lot to talk about. But it was really, uh, kick, the design was kick-ass, I really liked the design. The design was similar to the Shikai, but sh kind of sharper, big in size still. So yeah, that, that's number one change. His bonkai is now large, and kind of like white on the out and black in the middle, instead of kind of like half black, half white type of thing that his shikai was. So really, I still enjoy this chapter. I still enjoy the reveal and what you watch new powers and his abilities, but just disappointed that I didn't get to see a bonkai because I'm sure everyone was waiting for the new bonkai. We've been teased for so long. Like finally, let's finally have this, right? Um, so yeah, really good chapter this week. Just didn't, it didn't show much. It was just kind of like, kind of revealing their powers, kind of revealing that yeah, watch is just really cheap as all hell and that I don't see anyone beating him. I see that maybe each show maybe has to take a break soon and maybe Aizen comes in. So now I see why Aizen could be needed. Before I was kind of like, oh, each show's gonna go bonkai and kick his ass. But now I'm just like, uh, maybe we need some Aizen up in here. So that's just my quick review. I try to give you reviews like the hour they come out. Um, I have work soon, so I just really try to get these out for you guys, even though it's, I have to wake up 5 a.m. So, uh, this, this was really short just because I didn't have a lot to talk about and there wasn't a lot in this chapter besides those reveals. So if anyone likes Bleach, talk it down below and thank you all very much.